ah, PUBG, you guys, you're either saying Fortnite is better or PUBG is better. It really doesn't matter. Let's just enjoy both. Why not? What is going on, Draw2 Crew? Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the cover person, the cover character from Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Before we begin, you guys, if you're brand new to this channel, welcome! Here, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, video games, comic books, TV shows, etc. So if you guys like what you see, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. So what can be more opposite than PUBG? The problem with PUBG though is that when you're trying to draw characters, there's really not a definitive uh, character looks because everything is so customizable. So the one constant, one definite PUBG character that we are, we're all familiar with, however, is the person in the cover art, which I don't think has a name or anything. It's just a character, a player in the game. Anyway, the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is to show you that, um, you know, the action post templates that I've been using for Fortnite can also be used with other things, just like PUBG, just like, you know, other things right there. So here, you're going to need the action pose, uh, the standing action pose version too. So make sure you download that or do the tutorial first before you start this tutorial. I have a link to that in the description or at the top right. I don't know where top right is. I think it's right there. So make sure you download that or follow it first before you begin this tutorial. Are you guys ready to draw? Here are the tools that you're going to need. If you want more description about my art tools, I have a list that you can check out in the description of this video. Remember you guys, there are three things, whoops, three things that you need to keep in mind as you are watching this tutorial. If you're a subscriber, you already know the drill. If not, pause it now to read this list of things that you should know before you begin. Having said all of that, you guys, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, you guys, so I've gone and printed out my standing, uh, standing pose. Uh, you can find that at the top right or at the bottom of this, uh, uh, the description of this video to get that, as I've mentioned already. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to zoom in on the head because what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make him look in the uh, to our, the paper left. Okay, so what we are going to try to do, what I'm going to try to do is have him kind of be in a similar pose as the cover art for PUBG. So here's the chin line. What I'm going to do is just essentially switch it, switch the head, just like that. There you go. So now he's looking directly this way, but actually what I want to do is I want him to have his face over here. So here's the center of the face. So he's kind of not looking directly 90 degrees this way, but more at an angle. So like looking at that direction right there. Okay. Instead of straight on, Instead of that way, it's more like that direction. Okay, so that's what we're attempting to do over here. We're not too worried about um, facial features or anything because his his entire face is going to be covered anyway with a, with with a huge helmet. Okay, so now let's kind of work on the helmet and let's try to figure out where the helmet is going to rest on the head. And the helmet is rather big. I want to try to make that a little bit bigger just like this. Okay, and then sort of rests right here on this side. And then the mask is going to be, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two lines going this way and this way. So here's one line just curves like this. And then the bottom here is going to go from the, from the other side of the face, kind of looping around to here. So that's going to be the, um, the eye eye part of the helmet. Okay, and I'm going to connect these. These should be parallel with each other. There you go. All right, let's erase a little bit so that you guys can kind of get a better sense of what I'm trying to do here. So we've got the helmet like this, sort of goes in like that. Okay, so we've got the, the face covering and then the eyes are going to be right here. So imagine the, the guy's eyes are going to be over here. So extend this out a little bit further this way. Just like that. 
okay? This is going to be the side. And then now let's draw the visor. Here's the bottom. The visor is going to be right here. There you go. And then I'm just going to fix up the edge here because what you want to do is you want to create like a shape like this. Does that make sense? Over here. So that should be good for now. So like I mentioned, we're not too worried about the facial features because it will be covered. Let's drop the chin guard and then a strap from here to here and then a strap going this way. And a tiny little piece of that strap is sticking out here as well. So I'm going to, here's the inside of the helmet, like a little bit of padding underneath. This is going to be like a darker color. So this, I believe, is a level three helmet. And the back here, just going to add a little square, a little box of some sort here in the back of the helmet. Okay, right here, we're going to draw the a little pivot point where it swings up and down. Okay. And then right here, you guys can draw a frowning face. So just the mouth frowning, not too pleased, looking like he just started a fire. And then if you guys want to draw the stubble, feel free to do that as well. There you go. And that is, that is it. That is the PUBG guys. I'm gonna call him PUBG guy. Um, PUBG guys mask slash helmet. All right, so now let's zoom out. And first thing you'll notice is the character, as you guys can see in the uh, photo, is fairly skinny. So what we're going to do is we're going to slim up, uh, slim up the uh, this uh, sorry this template here. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. First thing is I'm going to find the collar. Start right here. I'm going to draw like this zigzaggy line up this way and up this way. That's going to be his collars and then bring them down, bring this down. So it kind of looks like this weird looking letter M. This goes behind him. So it goes around the back. And this also goes around the back like this. Collar, collar. And then join that. Oh yeah, let's also draw the like a the neckline there. That's like an Adam's apple. And then here's another neckline going all the way to there. All right. Let's uh, flatten his shoulders a little bit. Don't make it too broad because he is he's not necessarily a muscular character. He's just a normal, average-looking guy not really like superhero proportions. So I'm gonna just flatten out his shoulders a little bit. There you go. Okay, over here, I'm gonna draw a bit of a trapezoid where it's wider in the top, narrower at the bottom. That's gonna be for his tie later on. Actually, let's do the tie now. This goes from here, two lines going out to the collar. Same thing over here. I'm actually going to color that in so that you guys can see a lot better. There you go. That's good. Okay, so as we go, I'm going to straighten the sides here so that he doesn't have quite a narrow, narrow waist. He does have a narrower waist, but not too narrow. It's just like I said, it's just a normal looking guy. So I'm straightening down um, the sides here. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw kind of the bottom of the shirt, and I'm going to draw it like that. I'm going to draw this one like this, and it kind of looks ruffled and kind of opened. Right, he does have a button shirt, so that's what that bill looked like. You can draw some wrinkles on the shirt, because when you wear it, you know. Got some wrinkles happening like that. Okay. 
Now let's draw the tie. And I'm going to draw, draw the tie just up to the, here's the waistline right there. Tip of the tie, here's a V, and then bring this up to there. There you go. He's got a little tight clip over here. And then tie is black. Shade that in. So now we've got the dress shirt. All right? This shirt is going to have these collars that go, or sorry, not collars, the sleeves. Here's a seam, and here's a seam for the sleeve. Okay, there you go. And then the, the top of the collars are going to go like this, or the shoulders. And then you've got pockets right here on the chest. I'm going to draw them as squares. Okay, the flap at the top is going to look like this. And then there's a button here and there. And two lines going down and two lines going down like so. All right, so let's keep going, you guys. That's not too bad. He does have like stains all over his shirt, blood stains actually. So that's kind of hard to draw a blood spatter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stain it like this. So I'm just doing like a random splotch and then just splatter like this, just on this side, not all over. Otherwise it'll look like he just like spilled juice or something, especially if you don't color it. Armpit lines and then armpit lines going this way as well. We're going to cover that with a strap that goes down. So I wouldn't worry about it too much right now. Okay. The arms, he does have like a, a pen pocket here on the sleeve. Okay, so draw like this rectangle with, with a line going down and the line going across up here. All right, now on this side right here, just, just where the forearm gets wide, line across, and then above that is another line across like this, a wider one. Bring those two together. Okay, so here we're going to draw the shirt going down and then it starts to do like this folding. Okay, right here, same thing. Oh yeah, I forgot. He does have, let's change that up a little bit. He does have like this thing that goes across his arm. So let's do that first. Like a little arm batter, a tourniquet or something like that across his arm here. And then just bunch up the shirt. There you go. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, so let's fold the shirt a little bit. Let's give it some wrinkly lines like that. And the kind of same thing here at the top. There you go. So that is, this is of course, that's his uh, cuff that he rolled up. Let's go to this side and let's do something similar. Let's figure out where the cuff is first. And it's gonna be right here. Goes out. Bring that together. Okay, here's the shirt. No tourniquet here or anything. And then at the bottom of that, it's just the shirt kind of folding. There you go. Okay, let's uh, actually zoom in now on the shoulders and let's draw the strap here and let's draw the AK that sticks out in the back. So I erase that. Uh oh, where's my, <laughs> I don't know where, where I put my, uh, where my cloth is. Okay, so from the top, I'm gonna draw a little padding 
about this wide and then from there I'm going to draw a line from here going down goes down like this and then goes in to the back like that and I'm just going to leave it like that and then the AK what I'm going to do with that AK is I'm going to first draw a line a straight line going up and then another one beside it like this about this high is good so I start off with that line and then next I'm going to do start over here I'm going to round this off at the top and then bring it down like this okay curve here and another curve over here you want to make this thicker bring this down bring this actually leave that there okay a line going here this goes this way and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw this diagonal shape from here diagonal this way okay another line going down over here like this and then right here we're going to draw that's for aiming right I guess I never I don't know an AK and then little tip of the barrel right there and that's your AK 47 I guess it's an AK 47 I don't know what I'm talking about all right zooming out that's the shirt let's zoom in on the hands and let's get started with working uh, working on the hands here the hands are gonna be covered with leather black leather gloves so I'm gonna draw a line here and then I'm gonna connect the wrist there yeah like a little wrist part and then again fingerless gloves so if you were to draw the hand, draw the hand as you would. And then draw right where the fingers would come out of the glove. There you go. And then some padding over here that's rectangular. Line going up here, line going up like this. And then that's it. Okay, over here what we're going to do is we're going to draw this hand holding, uh, I believe he holds a P92 in the cover. So what I'm going to draw first is the gun barrel going down like this. Just up to there. Okay, you've got his hand. I draw his thumb again. He's also wearing fingerless gloves. So there's the thumb right there. And then there's the hand going on this side. Okay, but on uh, on the other side of the thumb, we're gonna have the uh, the gun poking out in the back there. And then draw another line over here. So there you go, you guys can kind of see, it looks like he's holding a gun now. I'm gonna draw my pinky, or sorry, my index right there, so it looks like it's on, on, a, on a trigger. And then the rest of the fingers are gonna be resting on the side of the handle. One, two, three, right there. Okay. Oh, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna extend this a little bit further out. Make that gun look a little bit bigger. I'm gonna draw another line over here. And over here where the hammer is, I'm just gonna draw a square. And then the side of the gun, there, there's the grip. Okay, right here on the wrist. Close off the forearm. That's good. Let's um, 
do the strap on this shoulder now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slightly erase it and then just a pretty baggy strap from the from where the forearm of the bicep kind of meets the shirt here going up like this do it twice close that off and then put the same padding that we did on the other shoulder on this one There you go. Zooming out and then back in. All right, so this is what that looks like. Not quite done yet. Let's go to the crotch area and let's draw the multiple belts that he's got wearing, uh, that he's got on. So the first one is gonna be right here, just beneath the tie. And it's going to look like this. So two lines like this. And then from up here, two lines going this way as well. And then they intersect. You want this one to overlap. You want this one to overlap this. Okay, belt loop over here. And then the buckle over here. I'm gonna draw that as a bigger square with a small square inside and then another buckle over here and then one, two, belt holes just draw some belt holes like that so that's the top one I believe that's for something that he's got on the side I'm not exactly sure what so I'm just going to draw it like this okay so you can see it sort of conceals the bottom of that shirt there. I'm going to change the shirt so that it looks like this as it reaches the belt. Okay, and then the second belt is going to go over here. One and two. I'm going to erase that for you guys so you can see it a lot better. There you go. And then let's do the same thing, you guys. There's the belt buckle over here. Another small square inside it. And then here's the belt loop. Here's the end of the belt right there. Okay, and then there's this, another clip of some sort here. Two circles. And then this connects to some sort of bag that is on the side of his thigh and it's going to be right underneath where this hand is going to be for our for our purposes so i'm going to draw that bag it's going to go down and then goes forward this goes underneath the hand there and it's going to be a little bit tricky because it's underneath the hand but it's just going to be here's like a little side pocket bring it all the way down this way and then another line going down right there And that's good. Okay, where the buckle is, draw two more lines for another strap over here with a with its own little buckle. Okay, belt holes even here, and then from here this goes down, and then it wraps around the thigh. Just like this. There you go. I just adjusted the size of it. It should be similar in size to the rest of the belt. Okay, another buckle over here. Okay, belt loop. And then belt holes. Okay, so there's the side, side bag. 
All right, let's zoom out. That's what that looks like right now, you guys. He does wear combat pants, so they're not jeans, even though they look like jeans. He does have um, knee pads. So let's draw the knee pads. This one's going to be squarish in shape. So I'm just going to round off the corners of that square. That's what that looks like on this side. And then over here, of course, the knee pads stick out because they're padded. So that's what that looks like on the other leg with a strap going this way. Another one over here. OK, so we got the knee pads down. What we're going to do now is this, let's draw the thighs. But again, you guys, you don't want the thighs too, too big. You want to you want to make him look a little bit more skinny because, like I said, he's not a big built character. So I made the thighs skinnier. And over here, fabric is folding as it reaches the knee pad. Same thing over here. There you go. There's a stripe that goes down the side of the leg here, and it also goes down the side of this leg like that. There's a seam right here, so it goes down this side of the leg. Seam also is underneath the crotch here. You don't really see the seam on this side. Okay, let's draw the little pants zipper area. And then jeans or any type of pants, they would kind of fold in the crotch area. And then here at the top as well, there's a lot of folding happening here. Pockets here, there's one pocket. The other pocket you don't see. On this side, there's gonna be uh, another pocket or a pouch. So I'm going to draw it like this with a flap like that. And then beneath his bag here, he also has one. So I'm just going to draw like this with a flap like this sticking out. There you go. Some wrinkles over here where the pants meet the kneecaps, knee pads, and behind the knee pads as well. The knee pads themselves, they have a they have a design on them, so let's draw that design. So I'm going to outline the outside part. Over here, of course, it looks a little different because it's at an angle. And then there's a design that kind of goes in and then out like this. Okay, like this and out. Line across, line across and then a bunch of lines across down here. And that's it. Okay. The bottom part now, we've got the boots. The boots are like combat boots and they go just halfway up the, the what do you call it? So this right here, here's the round calf muscle. And here's like the shin, just a little bit up from the ankle, like that and like this. Okay. Again, you don't want his leg to go stick out so much. So I'm going to straighten it, bring it down. And then as it reaches the boot, I'm going to zigzag it. Same thing here. As it reaches the boot, I'm going to just zigzag. Okay, here's the stripe. It goes down the leg. It's going to go down this way as well. Zigzag it as you reach the boot as well. So now let's add these fabric folding right here. Just a series of curves. Okay, and then we do the same thing over here. So. Again, don't make that calf muscle too big. Bring this down. 
There you go. And then just a bunch of curves. I'm just being random with this. There's no definite way to show you. Let's go by gut instinct. Okay, and then of course you got the seam on the side of the leg going down. Zigzag as you reach here. There you go. And then lastly, let's work on the boots. The boots should be bigger. So I'm going to make them a little bit thicker than what's on the template. I'm going to outline each foot first. So here's one foot. And then I'm going to draw the seam as well. Like that. And then same thing over here. Here's the other foot. And then, and then the sole, and that's sole. And then here's the, the sole for the back, for the heel, goes up like this. And then here's the sole for the rest of the boot. Just like that. All right, so these combat boots, they have a wide like, tongue. So it looks like this. And then bring this forward, end it there. Okay, and then same thing here. This goes narrow and then wide again. End it right here. Right here, there's going to be a strap that goes all the way to the back. Right here, you see the strap over here and over here. Okay, steel toes, steel toed boot. Here's the top and here's this, just the line that shows the top and the side, top and side, top and front, I mean. Okay, and then lastly, just one, two, three, lines going one across and then X, X, and there's the, there you've got the, um, shoelaces. So one, two, three, one, two, three, across, across, and then a bunch of X's like that. Just wrinkles where, where things bend. And that's it. So zooming out, there is the PUBG guy. Did we miss anything? I don't think so. So that's it, you guys. That is how you draw the PUBG character um, from the cover of the PUBG game. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end. It is much appreciated. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there, or head on over to Instagram and tag me at draw2 so I can see your drawings. If you are ever curious about the equipment that I use to do my drawings or to make my videos like this, I have links in the description below that you guys can check out there. I have, you know, a list of like the pencils that I use and the paper that I like to use, colors that I use. So make sure to check that out. If you feel like being extra generous, I have links in the description as well to different ways that you can support this channel. You know, your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, content creators like myself can create stuff for you guys free of charge. So thank you so much for considering. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below, comment or hit that subscribe button and share this with your friends in your social media accounts. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google Plus, and also on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial, as well as the action pose that goes along with this tutorial. So make sure to check all of those out, linked in the description down below. And I think that's it, you guys. Thank you once again. And finally, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.